Hello everyone and welcome to the CRM for Manufacturing Overview for Microsoft Dynamics CRM. I'm going to begin the overview by describing a little bit around the solution itself. Microsoft provides us this great baseline solution with companies, contacts, leads, opportunities, and many other features in the system. Then we've added at 0 to 10 additional capabilities for manufacturers, things like tracking long-term forecasting, credit history, how to do account plans or share of wallet or asset tracking. And then when you add in how Microsoft has allowed you to access Dynamic CRM through Outlook, a browser, or a mobile device, and then being able to bring in ERP data or data from other systems and add to that business social, it provides a very rounded solution for manufacturers to start their implementations. So let's go into Microsoft Dynamic CRM and see this in more detail. So I'm logged into Microsoft Dynamic CRM. I'm coming in here through a browser, and I want to begin on the dashboards. This is a place where I have my charts or my KPIs that I can go and look at how the business is performing. There are many dashboards that are produced and presented out of the box. We've added a number of additional dashboards for areas like business outcomes that are important to manufacturing organizations. Things like tracking your sales funnel or seeing where your revenue is going to land here over the next several months. Being able to see how many leads are being created every month for your given sales team to make sure that we're continuing to drive more leads into the, into the organization. Looking at how long our opportunities have been open, or even if there's been some um, team members that are a little behind in tracking some of their data, we can very easily see that on our dashboard and make sure we're correcting that and keeping the, uh, the data up to date. I can go and look at a number of other dashboards, of course, things like sales forecasting, um, credit history and warranties. So I might want to go and look at my quote pricing analysis or as a sales manager, I might want to be able to drive in here and see, again, the pipeline in more detail. I might want to see how we're performing against our given goals. In this case, I have a sales manager that has a $2.4 million goal for this particular quarter. And they're right, right on track. They've brought in almost 1.5 million and we're just a little over halfway through the quarter, so doing well. And the orange shows actually how much pipeline is still estimated to close this particular quarter. So overall, this team is looking very healthy and I can see across the board that the, uh, the different sales uh, reps themselves are actually doing pretty well. So as I drill into any of this information, it provides me more context. If I actually want to see the data behind any of this information, I can simply click on one of these charts and it'll actually blow it out into showing me the data on the left hand side and the actual chart on the right. So if I want to see what's at the top of the funnel, I simply click on that. It gives me a list of all the opportunities here on the left hand side. So this gives me a great starting point to get a sense for how our teams are performing, how our individual reps are performing and whatnot. I can also go and look at this across um, customer service. So I might want to go see how our customer service reps are doing in terms of their case management. I may also want to see how our marketing teams are doing to see how things are performing around campaigns and campaign ROI itself. I'm now going to go in and look at more organizational level data. So I'm going to go and start with our customers themselves. I might want to do a search or pull up a given customer record. I'm going to begin by looking at 3M company. And I want to be able to see both the profile of this given customer as well as the deeper information around the associated records themselves. So things like my profile information, I can see here on the left hand side, uh, there's a nice roll up here for me. I know that there's a little over three quarters of a million dollars of open pipeline with them across all the different um, subsidiaries. I can see who my key contact is over there, any recent opportunities at this location, uh, any cases. I can also get some insight data here. This gives me a really nice roll up of research that's being done and amalgamated for me across multiple sources. So I get a lot of, of course, um, offerings, leadership changes, um, any news or press releases that they're doing. If I want to actually even sync the data from here in terms of location information and make sure it's keeping up to date with my data that I have in CRM, I can also match it up and make sure that anything that might be different, I can go ahead and sync that into our CRM system and keep it up to date. Ultimately, if I want to track or follow uh, 3M as a company, this is one of my key accounts. I can put it on my watch list here, and now I'm going to actually get an email every day with some of the key changes that are going on so I can always keep up to date. Now, as I look at this record itself, I might want to drill into some more of the uh, associated information around 3M. I might want to look at our long-term forecasting that we've been doing. So every 
year we have a plan that we put in place for how much uh, of our contract business we're going to actually do across our various key items, oven systems, blending, processing, and seasoning. Now I can see here that I've done a pretty well forecasting and in fact actually overall our seasoning systems have come in to be higher than our actual plan itself so at a glance I see that that's probably a good thing um, so I'm happy about that. I might want to know now pivot this and look at it by quarter or I might want to see it more as a trend line but I can see all this information around 3M and our long-term forecasting process that we have in place and see how that's looking overall. Now, things like share of wallets might be something that I'm tracking against my given key competitors. Overall, um, we are the blue here. So we can see that we've actually been increasing here over the last several months and increasing at a pretty good pace. We seem to be taking share from one of our key competitors. All that data is down here in more detail, but at a visual level, I can see how we're doing from a share wallet standpoint. If we have any assets or machines, of course, that we have at this particular location, I'm going to see those here and be able to drill into that. Opportunities, account plans, again, our annual account plan process we have inside of CRM, so we're tracking that here, and I can drill into that in more detail. Credit history, again, might be something I'm bringing from our ERP system. In this case, we can see that we're trending up above our balance here, so it might be something we want to keep an eye on or at least uh, reach out to the 3M team and see if we can bring our accounts receivable down a little bit. So overall, we get a very good picture of what's going on at this organization, some of the roll-up information. If I want to drill in deeper and see this more as a hierarchy, I can also see all the other locations that are connected to HQ and see all how we're performing against those locations. I can drill into any one of those records, and it gives me a nice roll-up of the, of the organization itself. Now let's say that we want to go and uh, follow up with Jack Smith, one of our key contacts over there. I may have a, a call scheduled or I may want to be able to uh, follow up with, uh, with Jack and I can see the profile information here. Let's say that I actually um, want to go ahead and make a quick call to Jack and follow up on some key activities. And in that call, he mentions that our delivery has been a problem on one of our shipments. I can actually quickly go ahead and um, put a case into the system itself. Now, I want to associate this to the um, to not just Jack, but to our 3M organization. Here, I'm going to put in um, shipping issues. I'm going to set a subject for the team. They can go ahead and update this as we go along, but it's a service problem. Um, the contact actually is Jack Smith, so let's go ahead and actually add Jack in as the key contact. And, you know, we were on a call with him, so that's what it was. He mentioned that it was in regards to our blending system, so I'm going to associate that and go ahead and say um, slow shipments. So I can continue along, you know, talking to Jack, working through the process, but I'm going to tr quickly get that case put into our system and have that start to be rolled by our by our service or delivery team as we go along. Now, Jack, actually, um, as we are working with him, we can go in and actually look at his hierarchy as well. So if I want to see a bit of an org chart of who actually reports to Jack, I can see here Jill, Larry, and Sandy. I can maybe reference them in our conversation. I can drill into their records as well just to, to see what's going on um, over there. So it gives me a good visual of my relationship with Jack and then how that associates back up to 3M itself. Now, if I go back onto the company record, I'm going to also see some things that are going on now. I'm going to see that new um, set of opportunities we have. I'm going to see some you know, cases that have just been added here recently that I just added. I've got some opportunities I want to go look at. So I'm going to drill into one of those opportunities and start to see how we're tracking against our sales process and how we're looking at the business that we're trying to sell over at 3M. Now, a part of any time we're looking at an opportunity, there's a business process to it or a sales process. We can see that here across the top. And as I click into different stages of the sales process, I can see some of the key things that we're going to ultimately have to do in each one of these stages. You'll notice that some are required with a red, some aren't. Um, I've got some key information here about the opportunity itself. I can see any of the posts or activities that have happened, if we've had any calls with them, if there's been any notes. And in fact, even uh, I use OneNote here quite often, so I can also go into OneNote and associate that into um, the opportunity itself. Now, over here on the right-hand side, I'm seeing some of the key stakeholders, 
the sales team that we're all working together here to sell this deal, and then some of our key competitors as well. So I know who we're actually competing against. Ultimately, I can come in here and associate our key products, what our pricing is, our discounting, and all that, and that gives me a roll-up of how much this opportunity is worth. You'll notice at the top now, I've also got a probability of 25% of winning this deal. That's because my rating is set at best case. And I want to, you know, after talking to Jill and talking to Jack here a little bit more, I'm going to set this to be most likely. So what's going to happen now is that the um, probability is going to go from 25% up to 50%, and it's actually going to change my weighted estimate on this opportunity here automatically. So all that's happening in the background. You can see it pops in, and now my weighted estimate is at $67,000. So all this... Um, is going on as I'm tracking my deal here at a detail level and of course all this rolls back up to my pipeline and my forecast here ultimately. And lastly I want to go in and maybe look at our overall forecasting itself. I can go in and see how we're actually doing our forecasting process everything from what has, was originally budgeted, how we are actually looking at it by customer, um, what are ultimately our updated forecasts are as we're talking to each one of our customers and updating the, the um, information here you know, week by week. And then what our orders are would be coming from our ERP system and allowing us to see the three-legged uh, stool here that we can see around, whether that be pivoted by our products. Um, we might want to see that again by our fiscal period to see how we're performing. Um, or it might be even a trend line we want to see across our given records themselves. And with that, I'd like to do a quick wrap up. I want to summarize our CRM for manufacturing solution. We've worked with many leading edge manufacturers in how they implemented CRM, and we were able to take that insight and be able to create new business functionality in dynamic CRM out of the box key charts, workflows, dashboards, so that we can accelerate the way that we work with manufacturers here and how they implement CRM in the future. I want to thank you for watching the video here today. If you have any questions or any feedback, please reach out to your account manager directly. Thank you.